come in. Hi, I'm Prerna. Hello, I'm Dr. Rita. How can I help you? I have terrible migraine. I can hardly sleep because of it. All right. I'll give you a prescription, but we need to know what's causing the migraine. Did you take any other medications that may be causing it or stress? Oh, it's definitely stress. I ruin things wherever I go. Once, I accidentally broke my friend's arm because I sat on it. In my defence, I thought it was a pillow. You sit on a pillow. It feels nice. You know, since you're so stressed, you can get some therapy. It could help. Well, I, I can't afford it. That's because I just started out. This is my first job since college and, oh, I'm a web designer, by the way. Actually, I never asked. I just got this job a month ago and it's driving me crazy. All because of my boss. My terrible, horrible, probably a vampire boss. I mean, not that I believe in vampires, but maybe they exist. I don't want to offend them. I'm not a vampire. Oh, oh, thank God. Yeah, I don't really believe in vampires. So, as anyway, you saying, so my boss, this... this guy acts like he's superior to us. Well, technically, bosses are your superior. But watching you speak, I don't think you'll stop. So, why do you despise him so much? He makes everything about himself. Like, as a company, we're a team. But for him, it's just him. One day, he was... Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't really have time for a story today. So, maybe next time? But your clinic is empty. No one is outside. Hmm. Fine. Continue. So one day, he yelled at a couple of us for using the company car to buy an expensive dinner for his client when we only went a few bucks over the budget and my colleagues paid for that. Why, he buys expensive dinner for his wife using the company card, claiming it was for a client. <laughs> and this was a week later after his promotion. Oh, really? That sounds a little like someone... I... Horrible. And that's not even the worst part. Whenever his wife calls, he tells his assistant that he's busy. <laughs> when he's not... You know, that is horrible. What is his name, this? Hey, uh, let's go. Knock first. I'm with a client. Sorry, Prerna. This is the... Dev? Prerna, what are you doing here? You both, you know, both each know each other? other? He's my He's husband. My boss. Oh. oh. Maybe I should leave. No. You paid to be here. If there's anyone who doesn't pay, it's my husband. What are you talking about? I thought when you got the promotion, we could afford the fancy restaurant. If we couldn't, you could have told me. We could have split the bill. But it was my treat. Splitting the bill is never a bad idea, though. I cannot believe you told your assistant to tell me you're not available. I never avoid you. You told her this? I'll just pretend I'm not here. I thought you were actually busy. You talk about your boss to your doctor. Well, you're the reason I'm here, so I should go. Were you actually busy on our anniversary? Yes. No. Oh, so now you decide to stay. Just give me my money and I'll go. Now you're making me lose my business. How am I doing that? I could go without money too. Wait, losing business? I thought you were doing well. But I'm poor, so... Well, I'm not doing well. I was relieved about your promotion, but you'd rather not discuss things with me. As if you do. And you're losing business because you start fights in front of your patients. Maybe I wouldn't if you wouldn't keep me up all night forging your signatures on your office documents that you never read. Whoa, now I don't want to leave. That's confidential. And I get tired! And I don't? I'm a human too! I'm so used to this, it's not even uncomfortable now. Maybe we should talk more. Actually, communication is the key to a successful relationship. Uh, this is coming from a person who never ended any relationship, friendship, companionship, or any other ship. Well, except for the girl whose arm I accidentally broke. She did not take that well. Prerna. I'm so sorry you had to see this. It's so unprofessional. Oh, no issues. Pity there was no popcorn, though. Here are the medicines for your migraine. 
And if you get any other issues, don't worry. I'll buy the meds for you. I owe you that. Thanks. And hey, keep some medicines for yourself, too. <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, and again, sorry. Sure. All right, boss. See you in the office tomorrow. That is, if I'm not fired. You're not fired. Oh, thank God. All right, bye. See you. <sighs> that was intense. We need to take a break. Dinner? Where? Anywhere you want. I got the card. You'll get in trouble. Hey, I'm the boss. You know, you're the reason people get migraines. And for treatment, they come to you. See, we complete each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna split the bill. 